Walek is set to make a terrifying comeback in the upcoming film, The Nun 2. We must confront the evil head on. After nearly five years, this direct sequel will delve into the origins and background of this demonic entity with a talented cast and a skilled director leading the way. This supernatural horror film is already giving us goosebumps in anticipation of its release. Film pundits around the world are predicting that it will be a box office blockbuster. Still the question remains, will it live up to the hype? Or will it rely solely on jump scares? Let's embark on this journey together and discover the answer. Here. That's not meant to be. The demon is growing stronger by the day. The nun is the key to defeating the demon. The Conjuring Universe is the most famous universe in the genre of horror. Created in the back of 2013, this horror franchise now has many critically acclaimed horror films like the Conjuring Trilogy as well as the Annabelle series. The Demon Wallach, as known as The Nun, was introduced in the second chapter of the Conjuring Saga. I saw the Nun's face in the mirror. Locked. And it stays that way. In a short time, it became the next supernatural horror icon among the movie girls. After seeing such a positive response from the viewers, Warner Bros. decided to make a new trilogy revolving around this fictional entity. As a result, we received the first part in 2018. Like other films in this world of gothic horror, it was a huge commercial success. Made with a budget of $22 million, it earned more than $365 million at the box office. It was natural for the studio to release another installment in the series. Now that we have the sequel coming on our way, it's time to discuss the details, including storyline and release date. However, before we start discussing details, let us refresh your memory about the events in the first film. So let's have a quick look. Using an ancient rope containing the blood of Jesus Christ. In 1952, Romania, two nuns at St. Carthas Monastery are attacked by an evil force. They are attacked when one of them enters a tunnel to retrieve a relic. The surviving nun, Sister Victoria, hangs herself. Frenchie, a villager, discovers her body and reports to the Vatican. Father Berg and Sister Irene are sent to investigate. They meet Frenchie and go to the abbey where they encounter the demon Wallach who appears as a nun. They learn that the abbey was built on a rift opened by the Duke of St. Carta. The Duke summoned the demon, but he was killed by Christian knights who sealed the demon using a holy relic. However, the rift was accidentally opened during World War II due to bombing. Father Burke and Sister Irene discover the abbess is dead, and Irene is attacked by Wallach. They realize that Victoria sacrificed herself to stop the demon. They retrieve a while with the blood of Christ to seal the rift. Irene is possessed, but Frenchie saves her using the blood. They banish Wallach and seal the rift. Twenty years later, Ed and Lorraine Warren present footage of their encounter with Morris, who is possessed by Wallach, at a seminar in Massachusetts. Now in the second part, we witness Wallach's origins unfold through the words of a priest. We learn that she was once an angel but was rejected by God for unknown reasons. Stripped for her power, Wallach becomes obsessed with regaining it, revealing a motive behind her evil actions. The trailer for The Nun 2 reveals that this demon will return, despite the efforts of our heroes in the first film. Set in a French boating school several years later, we follow Frenchy who struggles to resist Wallach's possession. Sister Irene and a young girl named Sophie become aware of her reappearance. It leads to a grand struggle to prevent her from wrecking havoc once again. <laughs> what did she do? Rejected by God. 
The trailer is packed with spine-chilling moments and jump scares. It includes while expressions in dark tunnels and unexpected appearances from walls. It promises a terrifying and suspenseful experience that will keep viewers on the edge of their seats. It offers a fresh perspective on her story, introducing new mysteries and building upon the chilling atmosphere established in the first film. Thankfully, we also have the official synopsis released by the studio. It reads, 1956, France, a priest is murdered, an evil is spreading. The sequel to the worldwide smash hit, The Nun, follows Sister Irene, as she once again comes face to face with the demonic force, Wallach, the demon nun. So that an unspeakable evil will send that thing back to hell. The sequel is bringing back two familiar faces from the first film, Tysa Farmiga and Bonnie Ahrens. Farmiga will reprise her role as Sister Irene, while Ahrens will also again portray the demon. But Sister Irene won't be alone in her quest to defeat the devil. She will be joined by Storm Reed, an emerging talent who expressed her excitement for the film. The cast also includes Anna Popplewell, who is playing a widowed mother, and Kathleen Rose Downey, taking on a supporting role in the film. Additionally, Zonas returns as Frenchie. The character who was previously possessed by Wallach. Right. What is she doing? She's standing in her. For this sequel, director Corin Hardy is passing the torch to Michael Chavez. He previously directed The Curse of La Llorona and The Conjuring Part 3. Joining him behind the scenes is screenwriter Akila Cooper. The film is produced by an impressive team including Judson Scott, Michael Clear, Gary Doberman, James Wan, and Peter Safran. Wan is known for directing the original Conjuring film and he has an extensive background as a director in various successful projects. With such an impressive team, the film will not disappoint its fans. It's come back for me. This demon was once. I'm scared too. You send that thing back to hell. Something terrible happened here. Production for the film started with the initial photography on 29th April 2022. Originally, film was planned to commence on 5th September 2022. However, it officially began on 6th October 2022 in France. The principal photography phase was completed later that same year. It is scheduled to hit big screens on 8th September 2023. After its theatrical run, you can stream it on HBO Max. Well, if you are a horror fan, then you must be ready to face this demon again. Tell us what you think about it in the comments. For more updates, subscribe to this Sydney Wizard and hit the bell icon to stay updated with new videos about your favorite movies.